guys, welcome back to another video. Today is one of our first RC, working on our RCs. Now, so we have our Traxxas TRX-4 right here with a Jeep Comanche body on it. It is dirty right now because we ran it a couple days ago. But we will be changing the wheels and tires to these. Mm -hmm. They're they, Deep Woods by Duratrax, and they're the C3, which also means they're the 1.9. And there's also 2.2s, but those are a little bit big. Now, these tires are a lot heavier. They're not, like, heavy, but they're heavier than these. I guess yeah. just because these are brand new. They're also wider. I'll take off the body real quick. That is muddy because we haven't... Last time that we ran them, they were... It was um, real muddy. So, I'll go to the back real quick. And just to see a size comparison, they are the same size. And they are also... This... New tire is a little bit more skinnier. So, I had the body back on right here. And now these tires that came stock with the TRX4, they are good, but they're just kind of, I don't know. I just, we're we're I just wanted a different um, wheel and tire. So, what we're going to be using is just this little tool right here. And so there it is. It just comes stock with most trucks. And if you need to get them loose, and you can't really get them loose with this tool, I just use pliers, and I just grip them on there. Well, you can either use pliers or channel locks. Channel locks. Sometimes I use pliers, and sometimes I use channel locks. It just depends. Today I use uh, channel locks. Yeah. So. Right now, we're going to be undoing them right here. And so there's the first screw and, well, nut, lock nut, sorry. And here comes the first tire. Old. And now we'll put on the, we'll put the new ones on after we take all these off. So now on to the second one. Almost off, and it is off. Well, I thought it was. <laughs> Sorry about this. Um, so now it is off. And we haven't had dirt bike videos in a while now because it's raining right now, and it is rain. We have water over the road. Shake it. And so we have flooding. Not as much where we live, but other places that we know of have flooding. And it does spin. So we have, what we're just using is just two motorcycle stands. Whenever we work on our bike, we use these, um, two of these stands, and then we have another one for the KTM, the 350. Um, and so, which is not ours, it is our dad's. Yeah, I can't, I can't ride a 350, neither in case. So we're it, taking this wheel off right here. And if you guys do um, go, there's this app, it's called Off-Road Amino, Off Amino, um, and it's where there's like, it's basically trucks. for dirt bikers, four wheelers, all off-road outdoor things, mountain bikers. Even, it, even RCs as well. There, there's some RCs, not as much as there are, yeah. but yeah, if you wanna check out Off-Road Amino, well, it's free on the App Store, just a little social media app. Um, and do go follow us if you if you would like. at Ron Cole Productions YT, YT for YouTube. For YouTube. <laughs> and so, also, if you want to see some more RC videos that will be coming out, it won't be it won't just be on this channel. It will be on um, a new channel called Rolling RCs. And so, now time to get the new ones on. So, first we're going to put this one on. There goes the nut. The walk. Sorry. But, um, so first wheel on. Wheel and tire. 
they're looking good already. In case he's going ahead and sticking that second one on. Just to see what it looks like, and then we'll tighten the bolts after we put them all on. Oh yeah, that does, that looks good. And so, if you, I don't know if we ever did a video on them, but we have these older RCs. One's a towy rod and one we, is a we've stampede. Done on these. I think we, yeah, we have done a video on it. Well, like five maybe, I think. Five or six. Yeah, I didn't know that we had, but, mm -hmm. so yeah, we have those, and I'm going to put these old wheels and tires on it, and on the stampede, on the stampede, if they'll work, sometimes they work and sometimes they don't, just from the shape of the wheel and tire. So, here goes the last one on, and then we'll tighten them up. So it's on now, and so now we're going to go back to this side and tighten it up. And this swivels, which is good, that way we can just swivel it around. So we're working on them. So while, whenever we're tightening them up, we don't have to you, use your, unless you really want them tight, you don't have to take the um, thires or um, channel up. Yeah, channel up. This one is on, and is it on fully or just? Yeah, it's on. And now on to the other side, maybe. <laughs> yeah, we'll have um, the channel names and other um, channel names in the in the description on to check out that we're subscribed to. Just small channels to get them going. They're not like as small as we are, but they're well. They're still small. Neither one of them at 1,000 yet. Oops. Pick this up, and now Casey's getting that knock nut. Don't mess up my wheel. <laughs> no. So I'll finish this one off just in case. Okay, so now they are on, and after he gets that one on, I am going to show you that how thing this works. A little bit easier than it should, but yeah, check out Duratracks. We just ordered them from Amazon. I am going to show you how this works. So, the little motorcycle lift. So, it has a hydraulic right there. You just pull up on that knob and push down. And then to bring it back up, you just push down on it. Just like so. Mm -hmm. And then have a little walk for it. Mm -hmm. Or you can just push it down. And then the other ones are just standard little uh, stands. Same thing with that one. And so we Um, for mine, this is the receiver and um, controller, wireless controller. I still got to figure out how to how to get it hooked up and everything. If you do know, tell us how to do it in the comment section mm -hmm. or give us a link on a video to watch. And so, we're coming near the end of the video. This is a shorter video, just only under 10 minutes. So I hope you guys like the video. Remember, make sure to like it up, subscribe, and see you guys on the next one.